what could make pups die few days immediately or few weeks after birth there are a lot of factors that can lead to this could this be poor management welcome back to tropical vet Up. today we're going to treat gradually and in details the cause of this death in puppies after birth so a lot of questions have come why are my puppies dying few days after birth this is called fading puppy syndrome yes what are the major causes of this and how to handle this fading puppy syndrome this is of great economic importance before we proceed we're going to look at what and what or how to know when pups are weak or not viable or is going to even die immediately after bed or a few weeks after bed there are a lot of factors or a lot of signs we look after when we look at a pup knowing that uh, this pup cannot survive you see first sign to look out is when you see a weak pup after birth yes a weak pup is a sign that this a pup is not viable and secondly lack of suckling reflex when your pup is not suckling yes suckling means when you dip your finger inside the mouth slowly you notice a grip if that grip is not sufficient or is not there is a clear sign that our pup is weak secondly they will be crying all time crying day and night crying is a clear sign that they are not feeling well yes maybe the breast milk is not coming out or laying properly thirdly there will be eye discharge yes that eye discharge could be clear or thick once there is an eye discharge is a clear evidence that our pup need help and make sure you consult your veterinarian totally they will not be calling out themselves they will scatter all over in the litter or amongst the litter mates there will be a kind of separation another sign is slow breath yes especially chest or thoracic breath if the abdomen is not moving it simply means that your pup is very weak and need to be attended to so diving into this fading puppy syndrome proper today we're going to understand what could make a pup die few days after birth or few weeks after birth so what is this fading puppy syndrome fading puppy syndrome is a condition whereby our pup is not viable or is likely going to die few days few weeks after delivery or after being put to bed and we actually notice this a lot amongst every breed of dog actually no particular breed of dog is exception it happens to every breed and from the puppy side first factor could be longer time it takes for the puppy to navigate the reproductive tract during delivery and you know once there is a, a prolonged delivery time which is called dystocia yes it makes the puppy to suck in a lot of fluid this amniotic fluid is going to pack in the lungs you see why you should call your veterinarian to ensure that this lung is being evacuated or ensure that there is no fluid inside after delivery another cause of this fading puppy syndrome is what we call congenital atelectasis that is lung collapse once the lung is too weak to accommodate inhalation of oxygen converting or reducing the carbon dioxide inside the body is going to lead to accumulation of carbon and subsequently increase in temperature and death in our pups so another condition is what we call malnutrition yes when our pups are not suckling well you see why you should monitor the breast milk or the milk lay down after delivery to know if you can supplement or allow it for some time another condition that can lead or another cause of this fading puppy syndrome is cold from the maternal side or what could cause this fading puppy syndrome we have what we call 
poor maternal care yes bad mother bad dog can never care for the kids even to suckle or give them warm to survive another condition that can lead to this is what we call mastitis yes the inflammation of the mammary gland yes when there is an inflammation of the mammary gland as a result of bacteria or other factors it can result to bad milk lay down and once the puppy take this bad milk it's going to affect them dystopia dystopia is a condition in dog whereby dog find it difficult or prolonged delivery at the cost of this delivery the pups have a longer time to navigate or pass through the reproductive tract coming outside and delay in delivery lead to what we call long collapse excess accumulation or absorption of this amniotic fluid pups not breathing well and also subsequently death as a result of low oxygen level another cause of this failing puppy syndrome is hot weather extreme hot weather yes our puppies don't even like hot weather they love to stay calm and close to the mother receiving a little warmth to help them metabolize or generate heat for themselves to survive another one is parasite like warm yes when you felt the warm the mother during or before crossing it can actually lead to excess accumulation of warm or puppy getting this one in the womb what we call in utero or during suckling of breast they love breast milk a lot another one is disease like parvovirus you see why it should vaccinate the dogs before they come on heat another cause is extreme hot weather extreme hot weather can lead to what we call heat stress amongst dogs and once they are stressed out they lack this ability to take care of their pups. They lack this ability to monitor the environment for danger that can kill the pups. And also, they are fighting for their lives too. They may not be adequate milk laid down. Even if the milk is laying down, it is stressed already. Another condition is cannibalism. Mm. Bad mother. And when there is this cannibalism, cannibalism is a situation where a mother dog eating the puppies very bad condition and this happened a lot when one you're not feeding them very well feed your mother dogs very well eye discharge eye discharge is a clear sign that our pup is not feeling well and again they will not be suckling well and you see them very weak and another sign is what we call abnormal breath yes you notice only the thoracic or chest movement abdomen will be stagnant or a little bit moving this is a clear sign that they are having lungs problem. Another sign is sneezing. Once your pup sneezes, it's a clear sign that they are having also thoracic or lung problem. Another sign is abnormal low temperature. Once the dog temperature start dropping from normal to abnormal level, yes especially amongst the pup. This temperature dropping is a clear sign that there's a low metabolism. Yellow eyes. Yellow eyes is what we call a sign of jaundice or icterus when the blood cell is not adequate. Another sign is red spot on the gum. Another sign is weakness or weak pup. Pup that doesn't move around. Prevention of this feeding puppy syndrome requires your contribution and that of environmental management. Why do I say your contribution? One, you need to vaccinate the mother dog prior to crossing. And also make sure you deworm the mother dog prior to crossing. You see why these two go hand in hand? Because it's going to affect the pups. One, transmission of disease. In environment when there is parvovirus, much or endemic is going to affect the puppies if the mother didn't transfer the immunity to them after delivery or while they were still in the womb. Now, deworming is another aspect whereby 
it prevents these pups from getting this warm lava or warm eggs or transmission of warm in the womb or during suckling i didn't say you should deworm the mother when while they were pregnant it's prior to crossing another one is regulation of environmental temperature yes make sure that the environment is warm spray some a kind of mattress or insulated mattress where your pups is being are being delivered another preventive measure is ensuring that you cross your dogs at a recommended age at least not too young and not too old age too young or too old aged dog are likely going to have pups that may not survive there are a lot of factors and now finally looking out for weak pups after delivery is going to play a great role in monitoring their health and well-being and making sure that you sustain them throughout their puppy lives.